I can just go home. I have my daughters there right now. For 41 minutes and 17 seconds, the district attorney says Rayshard Brooks was cooperative. Police had confronted him after the 27-year-old fell asleep in his car in a Wendy's drive through in Atlanta on Friday. Mr. Brooks, on the night of this incident, was calm. He was cordial. The DA noted that after Brooks failed a breathalyzer, police failed to tell him he was under arrest, even as they cuffed him. Put your hands what followed was a two-minute struggle and chase, where Brooks grabbed a taser, turning to fire at officers, before getting shot twice in the back. The officer's lawyer says the killing was justified, but the DA notes the taser had already been fired twice, rendering it useless. He did not pose an immediate threat of death or serious physical injury to the officer or officers. 27-year-old Garrett Rolfe is facing 11 charges, including murder. That carries the possibility of life in prison or the death penalty. The DA also says for two minutes after Brooks was shot, Rolfe kicked him. A second officer, Devin Brosnan, stood on Brooks's shoulders. Neither followed procedure and offered medical aid. I don't know what I would have done if I would have seen that for myself. The new details were too much for Brooks's widow. But I felt everything that he felt just by hearing what he went through, and it hurt, it hurt really bad. The family's lawyer says the charges are a starting point, not the finish line. Justice is not something that is going to be easy in this case. In detailing the charges, the DA made a rare and surprising announcement that the other officer involved would testify against his partner. But that officer's lawyer tells CBC News that there's no agreement in place and that the charges he's facing are irrational. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.